One, two, three, and hello everyone. Welcome to Recapture. My name is RC, and today I'm going to do a what's on my phone video. So I will be showing you guys what's on my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and it just looks like this. I got this in June, and I've been using it ever since, and I've been loving it. It just has this pink silicone case that I got from Amazon. Nothing really special, and you can hold it like wait a second you can hold it like this like that so it doesn't fall or you can do this as well so it doesn't fall there you go i've got this quite a lot but it's still okay so i guess the case is good anyways um i have it always on display here so you can't really see because i can't record the screen while it's asleep and on lock so it just has the always on display which is like the christmas wreath that i have right now and then i have the time the date and some notification icons i have the fingerprint thingy and the battery percentage so that's what i have by the way this phone has just been updated to android 12 samsung one ui 4.0 which I've been waiting for for a while now so I have it finally and I'm really excited there were some new settings the one that I like the most is that they made it so that all the widgets whether it's Samsung or not Samsung it's all rounded and it looks better than before so I like that anyways um the screen is recording now so I'm gonna start showing you guys the first page I would say page i don't know anyways this is what i don't have to show you because it's recording let's start with the first um like page which is this one right here um i just have this theme christmas theme that i bought from the themes section thingy and i have the dual clock right here um which is a widget you can change it however you like there you go as you can see but i like it transparent like that and i have the time for vancouver and manila so right now i am it's 19:33 here and it's 11:33 in manila and then i have the weather forecast and so it just says friday december 10th three degrees and you can see the uv index humidity 100 percent and then i have the weather forecast for the next couple of days so below the weather app i just have this couple widget right here and it just has a picture of my boyfriend and i and then it says 11 years 10 months and one day and then below that is another like countdown ish um it says 352 days so that's what i have on this home page home screen thing and then if you swipe to the right you will see like just articles news and stuff from google so um why is it loading oh there you go um there you go you just can see news and stuff i don't really check it all the time but i do when i want to know what's going on in the world i guess so then after that I don't have to keep showing you this because it's being recorded okay so next page is this one it's like my calendar planner agenda page and i have the samsung calendar widget right here so on the left side we have the calendar and on the right side we just have my schedule for the day and then below that i have this um widget called stuff and it's like a google to do like tasks what is it called google tasks but it's cuter because you can customize the font and the colors and all that and google is just like oh like blue and white and all that so i prefer this one because it's cuter and you can customize it below that i have the sectograph i think it's called sectograph sectograph widget which is kind of the same thing as a calendar to-do list but better i would say because this one has the clock 
as you can see so it says 1940 Friday the 10th of December and then it has like the 12 hours there and then it says um, your the sections of the things that you need to do it's just it's really hard to explain it but if you use that I paid for the premium like version because I really like it but if you use this it's really helpful I guess I have not been using my bullet journal and my planner as much because of this well this phone basically because um, I have my calendar here I have my to-do list here and I have this sector graph and I have like a habit tracker health tracker on this phone so it's like what the point of having a bullet journal although I still love doing journaling it's just I have this here and it's more convenient than having to do a template every month and all that it's just kind of more things to do so this is very convenient so that's what I have. This is like the page for planning, scheduling, and all that. On the third page, we have um, this notes page. So on top, we have this Samsung Notes um, widget. It just has a Christmas reminder. It says, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into the giving. And then below that, I have the Samsung, Samsung Notes um app so I can create notes very easily I don't use it that much I only use it for like math so I like when I'm like feeling down or anxious or anything I like searching for math equations to solve so I forget about the world and all my problems and all that so that's what I do here I just click this thing and then I do like for example 4 plus 4 equals 8 something like that oh no there we go so nothing special really I just like to do that but what I use the most when it comes to note take note tip what but what I use the most when it comes to note taking is this Google Keep I've been using it since um, my previous phone which was a Google Pixel um so I just I just love it so much um pinned here is this DIY recipe thing that I found online it's just mood boosting spray carpet cleaning makeup brush cleaner la 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 and then I have oils because I kind of collect oils and I wouldn't really say it's a collection but I do love buying different kinds of oils essential oils and all that so I have it here on this list so I have red palm oil castor coconut cojoba sweet almond tea tree peppermint eucalyptus rose jasmine chamomile neroli lavender sesame avocado black seed flax seed amla and rosemary it's quite a lot um but I love oils and then we have doggo breeds to welcome into my family in 10 years in no particular order i said it's in no particular order but the first one is actually my favorite type of dog breed um it's the american bully slash pit bull um they're just like very adorable i don't know if you guys know on instagram um pirate pit bull hattie um luna knight and baloo they're all pit bulls they're like the most adorable creatures on earth and one day I would like to have my own so that's number one there and then the rest is like not really in any particular order so I have golden retriever Shiba Inu Husky Dachshund German Shepherd Labrador Labradoodle Samoyed and Corgi I actually didn't know what Labradoodle was I didn't even know it existed until I went to the park and I saw this dog and I asked the owner what kind of dog it was and he said it was a Labradoodle and I believe that's a mixture of labrador and poodle so it's a mix so it's labradoodle like how adorable is that name okay so that's what i have um i won't scroll down to other notes because they're private and then at the bottom i have these two squares the first square is my notion widget so that's my notion this is what I have on my notion there you go um, it's another note taking like program app ish I use this a lot on my computer not on this phone but I do like I do like to 
look at my notes on this phone from time to time but when I'm actually typing things onto this I do it on my computer so I just have these things right here it's like a live organization thing very good I love notion so that's my notion widget and then the other square is the verse for the day from the Bible app so it just says Hebrews 11 1 faith shows the reality of what we hope for it is the evidence of things we cannot see so I can just share that or save it to a profile in the middle of the two squares we have this moon widget which is literally just a note-taking app it's really nice because it has a lot of ads there you go um, and it plays this sound that they got definitely from YouTube audio library because I've used the same sound in my videos and then you can just take notes while listening to this relaxing sound so that's what I have and then at the bottom we have bearable this is probably the only app that I have that is not a widget but it's very important for me and I use it like a lot so well at least I have to I want to use it a lot this is like a health tracker main reason why I haven't been using my boat journal habit and uh, what do you call that health tracker because I have it here so um, let's see I don't have the premium because it's a yearly subscription I believe and I don't have the money for that so just have this so how it works is you put things like your mood so my mood right now is like uh, let's say six there you go and you can edit that let's see I I feel happy and optimistic and I feel good mm, that's about it there you go and then for the symptoms um, if you have like um, back pain like me so right now my lower back pain is at medium so we can put PM medium there you go moderate and then upper back pain not really right now I would say like mild um, there you go and then mental fear stress anxious depressed digestive problems um, reproductive so tracking your period and all that for factors you can see um, general like is it a busy day quiet day like basically these are the things that I put in my um, health tracker on my bullet journal but this is much much easier and they make um, the statistics for you as well so there you go and then places and then hobbies what you've been doing so it kind of like relates everything to your health so yeah let's just i'm just gonna finish this because why not um hours of sleep last night i don't know let's just say like 8 30 or whatever and then early bedtime but also late bedtime because I slept at like 5 p.m. and then I woke up at like 12 or 1 a.m. and then I slept again after that so okay and then energy levels we have okay and then med supplements I don't really use this because I have another one for that which I'll show you later and then self-improvement how productive are you I'd say five how mindful are you social life I'd say one and then food diary you can like add like water and all that and I would say like um dairy mostly healthy is dairy healthy I don't even know and then health measurements if you want to track your step count I don't really do that and then bowel movement so you can put like how hard it is or how soft it is so there I'm not gonna do that and then you can put gratitude what are you grateful for I'm grateful for my subscribers yay there you go and then let's add like a heart here okay so that's what we have that's that's what I do um I do this at night or well you can actually have multiple entries anyway so you don't have to do it at night you can do it literally anytime of the day so 
okay that's what we have on this page this is like the notes kind of tracker ish page and then on the next one we have the wow picture of phobia is distracting me <laughs> okay so we have my screen time right there as you can see i've been using my phone for three hours and 44 minutes and it breaks it down there so i've used my bible for 40 i mean for 52 minutes facebook for 41 minutes and youtube for 28 minutes and then i just have these two um what do you call this like gallery pictures widget thingy so it's just from my gallery you can select any kind of picture that you have on your gallery and make it like display as a widget so i have that i have this quote that says pray 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 and then the other one is a verse from exodus and it says the lord will fight for you you only need be still and then at the bottom we have um this one that says take care of your taking care of yourself is productive dream plan do and then i have a picture of hobby there very nice and then we have my um outlook widget right here so i can just check my email right away i don't have to because when i don't have this widget i have to click on the outlook app i just forget to check my email so this is very nice same thing with my google um email it's just right here i can check it right away anything important anyone sends me an email i see it right away and then i have this storage thing uh, so you can see I've used 115.6 gigabytes out of 128 gigabytes of my phone storage and then this thing is like it optimizes your phone like memory or whatever that thing is see your phone has been optimized I'm not really sure what exactly it does but I mean I like clicking that so there you go and next page we have my favorite which is my habit tracker the replacement for my bullet journal there you go so this is again a widget called habits and i track all of my multivitamins food supplements that i take almost every day i'd say i don't take all of them every single day but it's good to track them so i know so i have vitamin d so if i took my vitamin d i would just do that if i took my multivitamins if i took spirulina moringa vitamin c turmeric metamucil probiotics poria and all that they're in like different colors because um i put them in categories so i know what time of day i should be taking them and then i have uh, this like cute note widget that i have right here um this changes a lot depends on my mood i change it whatever i want to like put on it so right now it says ybab by ja um it's like an inside joke between my boyfriend and i and then i have on the other side i have i'm not a tindere by babu which is me um because i'm not a tindere and then uh in the middle i have 4322 days which is actually the same thing as this widget right here 11 years 10 months one day this one is just in days so um below that i have my health tracker which is this steps calories and what is this kilometers so i've taken 524 steps which is really bad um and i've i guess i've burnt uh 1081 calories and i've walked 0.11 kilometers and then beside that i have my other widget which is the period calendar to track my period and so that i know when my period is going to bother me there you go i have that nothing special there and then last page we have like my book ish not really um page so we have this note here uh it's just my december tbr if you don't know what tbr means it means to be read so it's just the books that you plan to read in december so i have cruel prince harry potter one yarn of the dawn our shanty end of time and there's this cute like pug is it a pug um dog right there and then i have this libby widget right here which is this 
thing and um, I am reading Extraordinary by V.E. Schwab if you click that it will there you go that's that's what I'm currently reading at the moment and then last but not least I have this like gallery widget again which is just this Namjoon and Tay um, photos because I love BTS and I'm an ARMY so there you go I like seeing that and again this gets updated um, every once in a while if I want to change the pictures here I just change it because it's quite easy so that's what I have and then at the bottom here I have my Samsung internet which is this um, okay that's just my tracking for my package and then I have my photos which I'm not really gonna show you and then I have my messenger because I use that the most and then I have my camera and then I have my settings so that's pretty much what I have on this phone and then if you scroll up excuse me I just updated you brother okay when you scroll up you can see all of my apps so that's what I have so you can see my calendar, camera, clock, contacts, gallery, messages, files, phone, Samsung notes, and settings. And then we have my folders. So first we have the BTS folder. I just have the BTS Amino app right there. I, download, I downloaded this app back in 2017, but I haven't been using it very much. I just check it once in a while. And then I have my Ticketmaster app. For buying BTS concert tickets and then I have VLive and Weverse right there I don't have the app for the light stick just because I haven't really gone to a concert while using this phone so if I do go to a concert maybe next year I don't even know then I will have that um, app on here and then for eat we have DoorDash, Gongcha, Hyak Sushi, McDonald's Skip the dishes and Star Wars. I have a lot more, but this is what I currently have on this folder. And then on finances, I have the DXN app, Coho, Money, PayPal, Samsung, Pass, Fan City, and Wealth Simple. So for the Google folder, I have Calendar, Chrome, Docs, Drive, Duo, Gboard, Gmail, Google, Google Play Movies, Home, Maps, Messages, Photos, Play Games, Sheets, and YouTube. Basic Google Apps. And then for health, I have Bearable, which I already showed you, COVID Alert, which is the Canada official tracking, um, COVID tracking thingy. And then I have Fit, Health, Life Labs. Life Labs is for laboratories. If you have lab tests ordered by the doctor, then you can just book your appointment here. You don't have to walk in and line up basically. And then after that, when you get home, you can also check your lab test results on this app so really good and then i have mm mm is my morning there you go and it's just um oops sorry mm is what do you call this affirmations and meditations and all that and then that's my um calendar for my what is this period calendar and then i have my fitness pal i don't use it to count macros or calories or anything i really only use it when i'm curious about how much iron um, a certain meal has before i eat it because i have anemia so there you go and then my therapy is what i use to um, track and to remind me um to take the prescribed medications that i need to take and then sweat is uh what is this it's like um, an app for, there you go, um, workouts that you can follow. As you can see, this is quite new. I haven't even logged in or signed up or anything. And then for home, uh, this is not very really homey, but this is what I have. So I have Airbnb Blossom, which is for plants. Kudo Mobile Life 360. This one is for tracking your family members to make sure they're all okay, they're alive and breathing, and they're not driving too fast. And then my Wi-Fi Pinterest, love Pinterest, and then Planta, which is also for plants. And then for Listen, I have Alpay. 
Amazon Music, Shazam, and Spotify. Message, I have Kako, Messenger 1, Messenger 2, and WhatsApp. I have two Messenger icons here because the Android 12 Samsung One UI 4 is uh, letting me have two of this, which is really nice. Basically, if you have two accounts, you don't need to click on one Messenger icon and then keep switching between those accounts because you have two and you can just like click whichever account you want to use and it stays logged in which is really nice i love it i love android i love samsung there you go and then microsoft i have excel microsoft launcher i don't use this a lot um i used to use it a lot when i was using my google pixel phone but i don't use it that much anymore because i find that it makes my phone really hot and i don't want that so but I just, it's just here, just because. And then I have OneDrive, OneNote, Outlook, and Word, just basic Microsoft apps. And then for photo, I have Amazon Photos, Camera 360 if you want to change um, your sky, um, Canva, Color Gear Light, Face App if you want to see what you look like when you're older, Foodie, Lightroom, Logo Maker, Nietzsche, PixArt, Plan, Planoli. Point blur, remove unwanted objects, no, and spark post. So the apps that I use the most are Canva, Lightroom, and PixArt, I would say. And for selfies, I use Snow because it makes my skin look really clear and smooth. So I love it. And then for plan, is that the next one? Yes. So for plan, I have Bixby Routines. Basically, Bixby Routines is like the if this, then that app but it's Bixby and it's like already in your Samsung phone so it's there and then habits is this thing right here this this whole thing right here that's the habits app and then for sector graph that is the one that I showed you the circle thing and then what else Google tasks again I don't really use that as much because I have this one now and then for read I have audible Bible Blinkist deep stash Goodreads Kindle Libby Moonly my mal which is weird because it's like my anime list so it's like my my anime list then playbooks poetizer and story shots so that's what I have for read I read a lot I love books I listen to audiobooks so that's why I have a lot of apps. So on the shop folder, we have Alibaba, AliExpress, Amazon, Best Buy, Etsy, Ikea, Indigo, Redbubble, Romway, Sephora, Sheen, and Yes Style. Retail therapy. There you go. Social. I have Amino, which is the same thing as this thing. Like uh, the BTS Amino, but this is... This one is like more general, like different fandoms and all, but again, I don't really use it as much. And then I have the Facebook Business Suite and um, Creator Studio. I actually don't know what the difference is. I don't use it that often. Then I have Discord, Facebook Account 1, and then Facebook Account 2. And then I have Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, Tumblr, and Twitter. So that's what I have for socials. And then for Speak, I have Hello Talk. And I have Naver Dictionary. This is the English Korean Dictionary. And then I have Papago. I have Pocket Sign and Translate. And then the next one is a Video. So I have the 1SE. This is one second per day. Um, basically what you do with this app is you take a video um, one second every day for a whole year and it compiles it into one video i was supposed to do this for the entirety of 2021 but i just kind of forgot it because it doesn't have a widget that's why i love widgets and then i have camera fee live i don't even know what this is and then cap cut reality this is like an ar thingy ar yeah i think so and then vita and then the youtube studio that i use a lot for my youtube channel and then i have watch so i have crunchyroll disney netflix optic tv and prime video and for rate i have my notion 
app, my Google Keep Notes, uh, my Luna Diary, Hourly Journal, Presently, Prompted Journal, and Worry Dolls. And then I have my Google Play Store, Samsung Galaxy Store. On the next page, we have Samsung folder right here. I have Adblock, AirZone, Bixby Calculator, Games, Internet, Samsung Free, Samsung Pay, Theme Park Tips, and Visual Voicemail. And then for widgets, I have the couple widget, Kumo, magic widgets, simple photo widget stuff, and the couple. And I have my game right here. Uh, I don't play games. I'm not a gamer. Um, I just download some random games from time to time. Um, and then I have this secure folder that I don't really use. You can secure like files, photos, and all that with a password or with your fingerprint. So that's everything that I have on this like app um, drawer. And then on the side, like this edge thing for quick access, I have um, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my boyfriend. There you go. So I can just kind of call them right away if I want to. And then this one is what I use a lot a lot as well so the top four i think they are the basic like apps maybe or like i think your most re your recently used apps i don't even know and then at the bottom here is the ones that i want easy access to so i have the calculator right here because i'm bad at math and then i have spotify lippy snow I have YouTube, Skip the Dishes because I like ordering food a lot, Amazon because I need to track my packages, and then DoorDash because I order a lot of food. When it comes to widgets that I would recommend to you guys, I would definitely recommend the first one is this, oh I don't have to, oh, I keep forgetting I don't have to show you that um, because it's screen recording. So the first widget that I'm going to recommend is this one which is this stuff there you go just download that from your play store it lets you customize your to-do list you can see your to-do list right away because the thing is again if it's not a widget i have to click the app and view everything i will definitely forget it and just not do it so it's good that i can just see it right away it's right in front of my face the second widget that i would recommend is this sectograph i did pay for the premium one but it's very cheap it's like four dollars or something um it's really good i really can't explain it very well but this one is super super helpful like i've said i ditched my bullet journal for this um, I didn't ditch it, but you know, I, I use it less now. I do want to use it a lot more next year, but we'll see. And then the next widget that I want to recommend is, where are you? This thing, habits for habit tracking. Again, you can put as many widgets as you want and you can customize the colors and it's just very nice very nice and then the kumo app is if you want to take memos and notes and because the samsung note um it just looks like this like very basic right but uh, the kumo one looks like this and you can um customize it see it's just really cute um you can do a lot of things with it right so that's just what i have um yeah this one is also um kumo and then the last widget that i'm going to recommend is the libby app because libby app widget because i like reading so if you like reading there you go another thing that i want to show you guys is the screen record with the video selfie thingy which is really nice if you want to screen record with your face um i wanted to do that but um, it was too small and I feel like it will block part of the screen so I just did this kind of setup but if you want to screen record um, excuse me let me just there you go 
If you want to screen record, what you can do is just turn on the screen record and it'll start counting down three, two, one. And then now it's recording and then you can click this like thing right here. And now there's, there's me. And then you can kind of just screen, oops, move. There you go. And then you can just kind of like screen record um, things, which is really cool. You can see me, hello, I'm right here and um how cool is this like this is really cool samsung um android 12 has a lot of really cool features yeah i hope that wasn't too long but that is everything that i have on this phone right here my samsung galaxy s21 ultra and um yeah that is it Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, but only if you want to. I'm not forcing you, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you again. Goodbye.